Hi, friends. Thank you. That's, I got it. Thanks. That's that, your That's business. mine. That's My mine. Trailer. That's mine. We have the same of everything. I here. know. Seriously, why is it so hard? Where's your food? Where is your food? Why mom? is my family vacuuming right now? <laughs> why is he? Why are they doing a your brother? Oh my god! <laughs> my brother used to vacuum at like the awkwardest oh, time. We're watching Buying Beverly Hills on Netflix. Sorry. Are you comfortable? Yes, I'm comfortable. Okay, so this is Vox. Oh, nice. Uh, this is Vox chicken. Uh huh. This is the pork belly. But so many things. Nice. And the fire trucks are going off. What is going on? Wow, what a lit Saturday, you guys. Happy Saturday, friends. Eating oh my at, gosh. Eating at Michelle's place. Michelle! Oh, we should me. open this so it doesn't. Yeah, mom, Ooh. help yourself to everything. Thank you. And anything. And then we also have Indian food for Michelle. Should we open this too? I don't want anything That's the to... chicken. That's the chicken. Oh, we should air it open. Okay. Oh, no. That's the chicken. We have pork belly here. We now, have... why would you guys tape it there so that I can't open? We have papaya salad. Mm -hmm. We got the Vox Kitchen. Uh, it's filet mignon with the best rice ever. If you guys have never been to the Vox Kitchen, you have to go. I'm so turned off right now. Why are you turned off? Because why the hell would you put the sticker there? You so made I her can't... mad. You made her why mad. Why would you do that? What? My best friend's upset. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to mix the papaya. And then Michelle will tell you what Michelle got. I got Indian food. Yes, then. I got chicken tikka masala because, you know, your girl, like, doesn't know a lot about Indian food. But I like chicken tikka masala. <laughs> and then I got samosas. Because I love samosas. Ooh, cute. Are I you so excited? Veggie samosas here. Charles pork belly. Whoa! It tastes like the chicken we used to get at Tasty. Huh? Try it, Mom. Excuse me, pardon me. It tastes just like oh, the chicken. Oh my, it does. And then I got a coconut drink. <laughs> You're making yelling at Clem? No. <laughs> we put Clem in Maiden's room so she wouldn't be like eating our food. Only because we're so low to the ground. Yes. And the but maiden's eating KFC right now. <laughs> I know. I was like, hey, I'm sorry, but you're higher off the ground right now, so. Yeah, he's sitting at a table. We're sitting on the floor. Oh. Did they give you a spoon? Mm. Did anybody give us a yeah, spoon? Yeah, mom. Oh, yay, thanks. Okay, I was going to freak out. I was like, did they not give you rice? No, they gave me rice. Okay, thanks, perfect. Thanks, there you mom. go, mom. Thank you. Want some Indian? Can I have the fork? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I was like, they didn't give me yeah, a. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Last time we watched twenty seven dresses and ate with you guys. Did. Oh yeah, that's what we were watching. So now we are back eating with you guys again. We're watching Buying Beverly Hills on Netflix. It's a like a bougie real estate reality TV show. I love the smell of Indian food. Ugh, same. Mm. We got papaya salad. Are you so excited? Mm-hmm. When was your first time having Indian food? Probably sometime in college. Yeah, I know it was very late. Late? I had it like two years ago. You're more experienced than me. There's a lot have, of things I haven't eaten. I'm going to have some of the... I don't know how the Vox Kitchen does their rice friends, but it's <laughs> so good. I tell Michelle mm -hmm. all the time. Oh my god, Michelle's so happy right now. That is so good. 
Mmm. It's good. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. How do they do their rice at the box kitchen? Damn, mom, you got a sexy voice. You like? <laughs> I lost my boss. <laughs> if I'm gonna say this one more time, mm. if you guys haven't been to the box kitchen <laughs> in Fountain Valley to get this filet mignon and rice dish, the mm -hmm. best white rice in the world. They have a chicken and seafood one too. Mmm. I'm gonna try this thing. Oh my god, try it. Let me know. Damn. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Wow, the flavor is so good. But Whoa. it would taste so much better there. Mmm. Because it'd be like fresh and crispy. Mmm. But like is it. it but is it like really good? Okay, let me try one. Is there a flat mom? It's very subtle. That one? Yeah, Someone go. was saying that the fried chicken. I mean not fried. The chicken wings at the box kitchen mm -hmm. is like really good. So we got it for the first time. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is really good. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, that would taste so good eating there. Right? Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. What? I love the garlic. It's really good. Wow. If anybody asked me to randomly go in any, like, expensive house and, like, name out random things. I'd be like, uh, that's from Lowe's. Like, they were just like, oh, this countertop has on, is onyx, blah, 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 blah. I would literally be like, so as you can see... It's flat, <laughs> perfect, has some spots, you'll like it, <laughs> very unique. <laughs> it's easy to clean, that's all that matters. <laughs> I tried. I spilled I've, something earlier. I tried, my doll was here earlier and... I filmed was... a video here. <laughs> Wow. I love our Saturday nights. Dude, they're my favorite. We just do buffet style. <laughs> Mom, that was Calcutta. Mm. Um, I don't know what the second half of the thing was. Calcutta something. Mom, I don't know nothing. Okay. That looks expensive. Mmm. What a cute little sauna. I was about to say spa. Wow. People are rich. <laughs> like, rich, rich. Mm hmm. I don't know, like, I feel like even if I, like, won the lottery. Carlos mm -hmm. and I wouldn't, like, wouldn't buy a huge mansion. I wouldn't either. How do you clean it? I feel like the bigger the house, the less you see people who live inside. Carlos and I would never see each other, probably. Actually, we would, because we're always glued next to each other. That means 50% of the house wouldn't be wouldn't used. Wouldn't be used. How do I know when my dogs pee in what corner? You wouldn't. You would just smell it over time. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, to each their own, obviously. I think... Yeah, I think it really depends on the person. Because some people just really like showing it off, which there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's your money. You worked for it. You can do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. However, logically, I agree. I would love a house, like a big house, mm -hmm. just not a mansion. It's just not sustainable. 
I also like, I don't know. I guess. What if something happens and you don't have the finances anymore or something? I don't know. Anything that's more expensive and bigger is higher the insurance, mm -hmm. higher the responsibility. Like, yeah. you know. But I guess I've learned that big houses mean different things to different people. Yes. You know? Mm-hmm. But yeah, we're watching this real estate show and I'm like, these houses are insane, you guys. Mm -hmm. And half the time they're kind of ugly. They're really ugly. Yeah. Maybe it's not our style. Yeah, you but know? I've noticed it's like a routine. I feel like it's a rich people style. It's like very the modern. Like, but modernly weird. Like things <laughs> that you don't even, I know they don't understand shit. Mm. They're just doing it because like it has a name. Mm. I could probably go to them and be like, oh my gosh, this cashmere duvet cover that I got is like amazing. It's made from... I can't even bullshit rich because I don't even know what to say. I wouldn't know what to say either. And you have to teach blah, me what wool was. was. And then send them the link and it's Ikea. And they'll 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 be like, no way, go fall for it until they see the Ikea. Whoever made this today mm -hmm. was very mad. Oh, why? Because that's spicy? not mild. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what it was? They were chopping really fast. Mm hmm. And they went to grab the chilies. Yeah. And then, like, three extra ones fell in. You want to try it, Mom? No. Mm. Are they in Miami? No, Mom, they're in LA. Oh, they showed the beach and it looked like Miami. Oh. Hmm? It's Miami. Oh. When did they get to Miami? Have we not been paying attention? It's probably when we were getting the food. Um, they are in Miami. Oh, friends. I asked for a mild and I think they gave me like medium or, oh. Um. <laughs> um. Um. Oh, that burns. How's your Indian? It's good. I haven't gotten a pea in my samosa yet and it's very exciting. You don't like peas? I don't like the, um, yeah, like, um, you know what I mean by peas, right? The little, little just on its own peas. The sweet peas. Mmm. I don't like sweet peas. Mmm. I think they have a weird texture. Mmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I need some rice, mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you just eat maybe a, th no, it was like gradually. Ah, oh my gosh. Oh, but it like, <sighs> <laughs> oh my God. My sinuses are just like so good right now. Oh my it's God. clearing. <laughs> um. Loud people don't fuck around. Mm -mm. No, they do not. Mm. And this is nothing. I don't understand how they do it. 
But I'm assuming they start at a very young age. Mm hmm I'm not like necessarily, I know this is a completely different topic. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not necessarily like a homebody. I still crave a little adventure, mm -hmm. but not a single bone in my body wants to go to Miami to party. Mm. Never. I would never. I've been to Miami twice. Not my vibe. It's, I will say. It's beautiful. I do have a desire to go into a club in Vegas at least once. Same. Just because I want to see what it's like over there. Because I've heard it's crazy. If we can even get in. Ugh. Yeah, I don't even know how clubs work. So, I think Miami is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The people are fun. The, the city the, is the, fun. The city light, the nightlife, like, they do it right in Miami. Mm -hmm. I, I admire the city. I love it, but I can never live there. I just can't keep up. I'm, I will be a Debbie Downer. I'm too vanilla. I'm gonna want to go home. Yeah, I'm crying. Yeah. I love it. Um, I can't stop. Are you happy? I'm really happy, Mom. Okay, that's all that matters. I know, but why did they do me wrong? I know, I don't know. I asked for mild. I don't know. She said this name, Kim. She always gets mild. She needs to try a little spice in her life. <laughs> but the fact that, like, Lao people eat spicier than this. I know. Guys, we watch so many Lao mukbangs. I literally see her history. I make Michelle watch them with me. I was about to say the intro, but I feel like I'm going to say it wrong. What is it? We don't even know if that's loud, Mom. Oh, you're right. That might be Thai. <gasps> that's true. What is it? I think it's Thai. Oh, maybe the ones that we're watching are Thai. I don't think it's loud. What is it? <gasps> Sadigap. Sadigap, Sadigap. You have to say it twice? They always say it twice um, in the mukbangs. I thought it was a cute thing. Okay, maybe it is Thai. Thai. Maybe it's Thai. I'll have to ask Seth, my brother-in-law. Mm. He's Lao. Well, let us know what that means. Or what we tried to just say. Mm. Watch them be like, um, girl, we don't know what you said. <laughs> Oh, did she leave? Did Fair leave with Sophia? I think so. Why is she so mad? I can't hear her. That's why. Oh, okay. So I don't know what her name. What's her name? Andrea? Alexia? Alexia. 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 Mm -hmm. Alexia. And okay, so Pharaoh was downstairs, and I think I didn't see it, but I'm thinking Sophia came down too. Mm -hmm. And they were supposed to wait for all the girls. So they mm. could go out together. But um, but instead, they just came down and they're like, where are you? And they're like, oh, we left. Mm. I see. Yeah. I think the dad's cute, like super cute. Who's dad? Who dad? What dad? Their daddy. Oh, their daddy. The daddy. Oh, their daddy. Yeah. Oh. I see. 
I agree. He's good looking. He's extremely good looking. Mmm. She has a love interest, right? She likes Adam. She does. Oh. oh. Does she have a fake butt? I don't think she has a fake butt. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It's oh, getting, shoot. It's getting hot and heavy. Can you date your coworker? Um, when you're the boss's uh, daughter, I think you can do whatever you want. Uh, uh huh. I see. The dad's there. I think that's so weird. The dad is there. I know I have sisters, but mm -hmm. I don't know what it's like to have close sisters. To have like um that like sister dynamic because my sisters were like they're twenty years older than me. They were more of your mentors than friends. Like the closest I have is like me and you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean I don't have sisters. So I guess I'm in the same boat as you. This is all I know to be sisterhood. Like the whole like sharing clothes thing. Yeah, and like five I assume it's really like us, though. I assume so. We want a twin on everything. We like the same things, but we mm -hmm. also, like, hate our own attitudes at the same time. I assume it's like having a sister. Yeah, like, yeah. we irritate each other all the time. Mm. So I'm assuming it's that way. Oh, she's really upset. Mm. I would be upset, too, though. If you guys were all, we're all getting ready to go to the same place. They're apologizing. Sorry, you guys, I'm being loud. It's so spicy. <laughs> She's really going through it, though. <laughs> I love these beans, the green beans. They're so, um, crunchy. Mm hmm. Random question. Mm hmm. How often do you find yourself triggered? <laughs> triggered? Mm hmm. Are you easily triggered? Does it take a lot to get you triggered? Are there certain things that trigger you? I don't know why. I don't know. She did. She said triggered. So I was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I get triggered easily. I get triggered easily. I get triggered easily when people are in my house. Oh, Ooh. you're like sensitivity heightened. Yeah, cause like I'm very particular with things, especially in my kitchen. Mm. Like, I don't care if you guys want to call me a bitch. <laughs> But I got some expensive pots and pans mm -hmm. that Carlos and I put in one cabinet, and it's for me. And we have another cabinet with pots and pans for guests only. I would do. Like, those things trigger me. When You're people, so generous. It's pots and pans. I'd be like, you get one pot and one pan. I, yeah. Like, when mm -hmm. um, people are over and they, like, my in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> when my in-laws or even my family are over... It's literally anyone. And they cook in my kitchen. You guys. I, I remember when she was, her sister was cooking and she was like. I was like. <laughs> mm. But it really is because you have nice stuff. Because if I had nice stuff. Yeah. And when I have nice stuff. But I am also very yeah. But like also like it doesn't have to be nice, mom. Like I'm in your oh, room just in general. Like I'm in your room right now. I'm not gonna like fuck with your shit. Mm, you know what I'm saying? I see. I see. I see. Like everything you buy costs money. Like you know. Mm hmm. But I think the reason that I'm triggered with the kitchen thing is because 
I feel like some people don't know how much something could be. Mm. Does that make well, sense? Well, yeah, because it's not theirs, so they don't care for it the way that you yeah. would care for it. Like, I, um, so I had a Dyson. Mm -hmm. Then I got another Dyson. I got a better one, because you guys, I got four dogs at home. So I got a better Dyson, so I gave my old Dyson to my mom. Mm-hmm. My mom ended up not using the Dyson, so she's just left it there, and then my nephew, like, used it for fun. <laughs> and I was like, no, mom, you have to give it back to me. Because yeah. a Dyson is, like, $800. Mm -hmm. It's not something that I gave to you for fun. Like, if you're not going to use it, it has to be with someone that knows Is going to use it. Is going to use it and knows the value oh, of it, Oh, yes, yes, yes. Very you true. You know? So Very she was true. like, yeah, take it, because I really do not use it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I remember she had it ready for you. She was like, here, just take it. I she, don't... She doesn't vacuum. She does it all... But manually. Yeah, manually. Not, like, manually, like... Okay, I don't know what you guys were thinking, but not what you were thinking. As in, like, she sweeps. Oh, I have another thing that triggers me. You got me on a roll. Ooh, okay, we're talking about triggers. What triggers you? Mm. Take off your fucking shoes. Mm. Oh, that triggers Now, here's the thing. Clearly, it really triggers me. But, I've had people wear shoes on my rug. Yeah. Michelle's been there. She, you guys, she has my back. Because I don't know how to, like, I have an issue with uh, learning how to confront people. Mm -hmm. I know people are like, well, Kim, you got to say something. Like, this is your fucking house. Some <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you're the person, though, mm -hmm. it's very hard. Okay, so... Sorry, mom. No, it's okay. Take I'm your time. battling my Take demon. Take your time. Take your time. So what I've been doing is, whenever we have guests over, I have literally bought shoe racks that I can store away when <laughs> guests aren't here. But when they are here mm -hmm. at my house, I put the shoe racks by the front door. If you can't correlate that with take off your damn shoes, I don't know how to tell you. The way that I can correlate if someone is a shoe house or a no-shoe house is if the owner is wearing shoes or not. Yeah, and Carlos and I only wear, like, indoor shoes and indoor slippers. I feel like they don't, like, sometimes they don't get that. Mm. Maybe because you guys have, like, cute indoor shoes. People don't wear cute indoor shoes. Excuse me. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't know. No, I get what you're saying. Because, like, some of my indoor shoes are, like, Uggs. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, like, everyone's wearing Uggs out these days. Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh, she wears shoes inside. And I'm like, no, 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 no. These shoes just never left the house. I had someone walk into my house once, and it was raining. And she just walked right in. <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> Was it clummy with their little paws? No. <laughs> She's are disgusting, you guys. Yeah. What triggers you? Um, uh, triggers? People who cut me off trigger me. Trigger Whoa, me. Well, fuck. <laughs> fuck. No, Wait. you know what? I take that back. What? Like, cut you off in the car? Yeah. I thought you meant talking. Uh, that's why. I was like, why? Why are you, like, worried? Like, what's wrong? You see me get triggered. I was like, I'm sorry. Oh, you meant, you, oh, you thought you meant, like, when people cut me off. Like, like talking. when I'm talking. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. No, you don't cut me off, because I let you cut me off. I'm um, so, oh, that's so funny. I just really hate stupid drivers. I'm sorry. And I understand that there's a lot of, uh, like, it's very scary, because a car is a, machine and mm -hmm. you're in charge of it and it's going fast and it's just I get that there's a lot to it I don't know I, don't know. I just don't have the patience for it my, like my brother he doesn't love driving because he early on in his driving career not that he has a career like you know what I mean um early on from the start he got into a car accident a little fender bender mm -hmm. and so he got really nervous and so he gets like a little bit of anxiety with it and like I'm just like, but you gotta suck it the fuck up. <laughs> mm. You know, it's just, 
we all we live in Southern California you have to drive you can't avoid it so you might as well build your confidence you know what else triggers us hmm. um people that are late yeah yeah huh. Ooh. that's triggering I think it's just like inconsiderate Yeah, inconsideracy. I don't even think that's a word, but that. But that's a pretty word. Amy. Oh, inconsideracy. <laughs> inconsideracy. That is a pretty word. Inconsiderate. I would never want to be called inconsiderate. Yeah, I will probably say I'm very considerate. I'm extremely considerate. It's not hard to be considered either. But I know it can Look, it's not hard to be a shitty person. A good person. I mean, yes. <laughs> Actually, I'm a shitty person. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like this house. I don't like the light fixture. I have a... <gasps> you want to trigger me? Light fixtures. Ugly ass light fixtures. Like, why? Mm. The Chrissy Crossies. <laughs> But the Chrissy Crossies, you guys, have light I hate at that the end too. of every line. There's a light. So I'm like, what's the point of this light fixture? I know. I'm sad. It's gone. I know. I know. You want me to go to my backyard and get a coconut for you? you Imagine. You have... Oh. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, my God. Too spicy for Kim Tai today. Too spicy for Kim Tai today. But now your sinuses are cleared. <laughs> you know what triggers me? Yeah. Unsolicited dick pics. I was on a dating app for two seconds, you guys. Two seconds. What makes them think that it's okay? Prettiest dick pic ever, though. Oh, yeah, it was pretty. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Highly. I told him it was pretty. Yeah, too. I loved it. And then he came back and said good morning, and I was like, oh! I'm a loyal woman, though, but I loved it. It wasn't like... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, him being a little bit aggressive with the he text. Carlos if he wanted to see, but he said no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually... It wasn't a we. It wasn't a partnership. She asked her husband, and he denied her so quickly. I fucking love my relationship and my friendship. <laughs> like, I got the best, man. There's really no awkwardness. Mm -mm. Maybe between him and me. But, like, a healthy awkwardness. But not even. Because you could totally go to him and be like, Hey, friend, does his dick look weird? Or is it normal? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's true. I mean, like, you think it's bent or what? All the men look the same in this show. It's the Botox. Oh, is that really what it is? They're all wearing sunglasses. They're all wearing the same sunglasses. They have the same gel in the hair. And they have the same scruff. It might be a Miami thing, no? Mmm. I think they're very attractive. Oh, they're still in Miami. Attractive people. Agreed. Would you ever buy a yacht? I'm no, just kidding. She can't swim. I answered that for you. Way to expose me. I'm sure you've said worse. No. Your no. ex-boyfriend's names are in the internet, on the internet somewhere. Never been interested in a yacht. A yachty yacht? I'm not really like a flashy, flashy person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't like... I... There's no reason. Mmm. You think his hat smells? He has it on every episode. Mom, what is wrong with you? I'm just curious. Do you want to smell it? No. <laughs> Not at all, actually. Mm-mm. -hmm. Do you like your nails? 
Oh no, I was just looking at my cuticle. I need some cuticle oil. How's it going, Chica? Muy bien, Chica. I'm still recovering. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's a big yacht. How much is a yacht? Mm, I don't know. Expensive. I was telling Michelle that my mind cannot count past a million. No, I can't either. So when someone says that they have like 22 million, I'm like, whoa. Or like, they're like at like 1.4 billion. I'm like, mm, wait a minute. Yeah, when someone says um, like 1 billion to me, I'm my like, brain, that's a lot of zeros. My brain has to physically go in and like remind myself, hey, he said billion. But then that a trillion? Is bigger than a million. But then when someone's worth like a trillion, hey, what's bigger than a trillion? A zillion? Oh, is that it? That's like not a Little Wayne thing? Little Wayne said that? I thought Little Wayne said zillion once. I feel like it's ringing. I feel like I can hear it. <laughs> Do we know? Do you know? I used to love Little Wayne Lollipop. I used to like literally. We listen. listen to a lot of different songs that like definitely we should not have been listening to yeah. at that age. I I realize now what the lollipop part meant. Oh. Okay, you guys. I'm. Oh my god. Then my stomach fully expanded. Oh look. Why? I can eat this. Yeah. Okay. We love you guys. We're going to continue watching TV. Thanks for joining us on this beautiful Saturday night. We love you. Goodbye.